Jack, welcome to the Aston Villa photo booth, a series of your best pictures from across the season. Let's go back to the very start, pre-season, and before we touch on this one here, you'd had a good pre-season, hadn't you? You looked in good shape. Um, yeah, I come back um, quite late because I had some extra time off because I was away with the under-21s over the summer. Um, yeah, then come back to the news that JT had signed, which is obviously good. Um, and then, yeah, in my last game, um, I obviously got that injury. Horrible. You touch on JT there. As a Villa fan growing up, could you have ever imagined that day? Nah. Um, nah, I couldn't believe it, to be fair, when I found out that he was like definitely signing. So, obviously, when I first got to see him, and that was a bit like starstruck and stuff. And touching on this photo, you grew up with the ball with Tom Cleverley of Watford. Do you know at this point how bad it is? <laughs> nah, I just thought I was like really badly winded. But then when I got up, um, I went obviously back into the dressing room and um, I just was in like obviously a lot of pain. And then it was about an hour later, there was about two minutes left in the game and I just got some mad pain through my fingers and started like screaming. Um, and then that's when they were like, oh, I needs to go to hospital and stuff. And when they told you it was months and not weeks out, what was the first thing that came yeah, into your no, mind? I was devastated obviously because like it says, like, I had a good pre-season, I felt fit and stuff. Um, I started that game all right actually and then obviously yeah, the Norse got told I was going to be out for a while. But you worked hard, you came back ahead of schedule. This was the moment Brucey brought you back on against Sheffield Wednesday. A good moment after a tough couple of months. Do you know what I mean? Like, like you said, it's been out for that long. Um, obviously I was working hard and that um, in the gym and stuff while, while I was out injured. So obviously to come back was, um, was brilliant. A couple of pictures here of you, a couple of special people. Moyne, of course, you're very close with, and Carter Carrington at the training ground. What does it feel like now you're their idol? Again, you growing up, you would have had so many idols here at Aston Villa. Um, yeah, uh, kids like that, especially like Moyne, um, you know what I mean? I do feel sorry for him quite a lot because um, obviously of what he's going through and the pain that he has to go through every day. I remember Carter, when I first seen him, he was so like smiley and stuff. And, you know, and you can just tell sometimes that someone is a hero and obviously the way like, he used to um, look up to me and stuff, um, a nice feeling that I can like, to give stuff back to them. Going forward a little bit to uh, Bristol City at home on the 1st of January, was that your best performance of the season at that point? Yeah, at that point it was. I think that's what kind of like, kick-started our run into the second half of the season. Um, obviously I think they were coming like, second or third at the time, so to obviously beating 5 you know, the way we did. A brilliant team performance. And this was about a month later, post-match scenes at Sheffield United. How good did that feel? Um, yeah, it was obviously um, such a good game. Um, like I said, they were another team that were doing well at the time. It was a tough game, to be fair, because I thought we weren't going to break them down. And then, obviously, Snoddy popped up with a goal late on. And, you know, what a goal it was. You're standing in the room, so be careful what you say. But how much has this man done for you? When he first came to the club, obviously I had to pinch myself a bit, but um, I kind of knew him anyway from when he was at Chelsea because I asked for his shirt after the game. Um, so yeah, obviously that, now that I to train with him every day and, um, and play with him is obviously brilliant. How good did this feel? We talked about the troubles you've been through earlier in the season, but to get that goal, that first goal of the season? Yeah, I think you can tell by the look on my face. Um, it's such a relief. At the time I was doing, I was playing quite well. I weren't really obviously scoring. And the manager said to me just before that as well uh, that he wants to start seeing me like scoring and stuff. And I think the day before that we had a little joke in training, me and Snoddy and JT. And Snoddy said something about me not scoring, so that's why I kind of went over to him after. And this the following week, I mean, we talk about it all the time, yourself as a boy growing up, because you ever dreamed of that moment celebrating in front of the whole ten? Um, yeah, especially obviously against Blues. Um, uh, it was such a big game and like live on TV and stuff and obviously it was good that like, we could put out um, a bit of a saying by beating them. Me growing up, a Villa fan, to play in that game and get mad at the match was brilliant for me. Yeah, there was a tweet going around earlier in the week that you posted about five years ago saying you'd love to score the winner against Blues in front of the Hulk. You didn't score the goal but you can see what it means to you there. Yeah, of course. I think that's the only thing really is that we've got the three points against them. And yeah, I got a lot mad at the match and stuff, so I wasn't really too bothered about the goal. Where did that performance rank this season for you? 
For me personally, I think yeah, it was one of my best. I think it was a great team performance as well. The form goes out the window kind of when it's a derby game. Um, it was obviously such a big game and stuff, and yeah, it was obviously good to get the win. And this one, another great team performance, another great individual performance. You ran the show here against Will. Yeah, I think that was the best probably team performance of the season. Everyone knew how um, how much of a good team Wolves are. Big game, like a local derby and stuff, live on TV. Um, yeah, it was a it was a great team performance. I'd probably say the best. A couple of months on, Cardiff City at home, 85 minutes on the clock. When that ball gets cleared from the free kick, what's going through your mind? Um, I was just shattered, to be fair. <laughs> I was quite tired and I just thought oh, I'm just going to give it a go. I think usually I'd probably try and bring it down and, and, and then shoot, but um, luckily I went for it. And To be fair, when I hit it, I thought it was just going to bounce off the post and come out. To see it go in the back of the net so late on. Obviously, you see on the next photo like how much it meant to the, to the staff and to the players. So to say it's your best Villa goal? Um, yeah, I had um, a couple last season that I liked, like Fulham away and Wigan at home, but I think the way the game was going um, so late on and uh, another big game against um, you know, like our rivals going into the Premier League, it was obviously um, a big goal, yeah. And was it a moment you wanted to share with your teammates and, and the coaching staff in particular as well? Um, yeah, because you know, like I said, um, I've been through quite a lot this season with my injury and stuff and I think sometimes you can feel like a bit left out and stuff, you know, when you're, when you're injured, but that wasn't really the case for me. Um, I had a lot of support from all the staff and, and the lads here, so um, yeah, it was nice to be able to share that with everyone. All the best, Jack. Thank you.